Thank you very much, Bob. Really nice to be here this morning and thank you for the invitation to present to the guys of NC. And uh, welcome to the guys in the room already. That's Scott and Chris. Nice to see you here. Um, so, as Bob said, I'm Keith Broadway. I work for Granule Disc and I have done for over 10 years now. And we offer a, uh, our vision really is to save the planet one drop at a time. So provide, by providing the highest performing and sustainable wear washing solution for the commercial kitchens. You all know that, but what does it mean? And a lot of people know about granule disc. Um, and the, the beauty of granule disc is that you do not have to use the sinks before the machine. So we don't have to pre-wash or pre-soak the uh, pans beforehand. So you're saving the water, the energy, the labor and the chemicals involved in that process. That means you don't need sinks before the machine as well. So if you do design a kitchen and you're considering granular disc, please do not put large sinks before the machine because habitually people will start to wash up as they used to. And then they will put the, the pan inside the machine and that could introduce soap, which causes, which causes foaming. Or it could be that the pan has had something on there, it's like a lasagna dish may have a, a crust on there that's got soft and the granule these power granules can't um, scrub the pan so then the pan doesn't then you're contradicting what granulitis wants to do so this presentation um, won't, won't be as long as it it could be because it could last a three quarters an hour but I'm going to flick through slides because there are two particular aspects that have happened uh, very recently um, because our R&D department have been very busy through lockdown and I want to talk to you about those today. So I'm going to flick through some bits and pieces here. This is all about the power granules and you know about the power granules already. Um, but to show you one little video and a lot of people have seen this, uh, this video shows the lady washing the sink. So this is what happens uh, a lot in our kitchen. It's exaggerated by this particular picture but we have uh, sinks overflowing and lots and lots of uh, manhandling of pans. So we want to get rid of that. So I'll kill that, that video. Um, the, this is what's called uh, a sinner circle. There was a German uh, professor that created a circle of um, how we wash the pans today. So we need four things. We need a mechanical force, be it Weber by hand or by granule. Oh, and also we need um, water, time and chemicals. Now the more force we put onto the pan, i.e. with a green scourer or with a granule, then the less water, time and the chemical you're going to use. Granule disc sits around about 68%. So this is where we save, um, it, we go down to sorry, 11% of the water, time and chemicals used. Um, it's a good circle to show and then obviously if you don't have granules then you're all the way back to just using water time and chemicals and you don't um, you're not saving that that aspect of it so uh, the power granules are there and you know about that you know about the POM but bring us into 2020 the R&D department were looking at the POM they were looking at what the power granule is made of it's a poly polyoxymethylene copolymer which is the same stuff as the chopping blocks in the kitchen. But it also brings in the word to our vocabulary plastic and people are very nervous of that. So what did we do? We, let's get past that one. What we did was we introduced this year a bio-based granule for commercial wear washing. Very important part, uh, aspect for our wash is the fact that we put the granule inside the machine so we need to move to 2020 so i'm just going to click this video at granule disc we contribute to a better environment within and outside of your operation we have a long history of developing and manufacturing machines for professional wear washing ever since the start our goal has been to deliver a smart economic and sustainable solution for our customers and today, we are the market leaders of our field. Our solution makes it possible to get brilliantly clean and sanitized wash results at a much smaller expense, economically, ergonomically, and environmentally. 
Our wear washing machine saves on average 70% water, energy and chemicals compared to any other wear washing method. So, even though our machines are tough on dirty pots and pans, we are kind to the environment. In an effort to further our sustainability goals, we are now introducing Power Granules Bio. These granules are made from the environmentally friendly materials calcium salt, rapeseed oil and a combination of biodegradable esters. Due to their special composition, they are also biodegradable. Powered by plants, our new granules produce less CO2 and demands less water in the manufacturing process. You'll get the same brilliant washing results in a more sustainable way. With Power Granules Bio, you make a great solution even better. Would you like to learn more? Please visit our website. So, uh, what is the Power Granule Bio? Um, when you look at it, oh, sorry, we go back up. When we look at it, it's a, uh, a plant-based solution. So it's actually made from rapeseed. So the rapeseed is there. Oh, I don't want that one. I want this one. Sorry. I'll kill that one and come back. What have I done there? Here we go. So we should see, see this now. Yeah. So are you able to see that? Ben, tell me. No? Okay, we'll come back to the presentation. We'll come back to this. That's better, isn't it? Someone nod. Thank you. Uh, so the, 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 the granules are, a, um, are made from rapeseed. So what they do is we use salt and the rapeseed oil to, to build the granule. And then there are uh, some elements of uh, a, a blend in there, a mix, or if, if you want in there, that will bring the granule together. What you will find with this granule, it will last exactly the same length of time as the standard granule, so 2,500 washes, and then you change them. During that process, they will change colour because of the dyes within the granule. So you've got to be aware of that, that they won't stay the same colour as the, as the uh, polymer-based granule that we use today. The reason behind that is because they are uh, biodegradable and they are produced from a biocomposite, as I said before, a Bavarian sulfate, uh, which is a rock salt to you and me. And also um, these are food uh, friendly. So they are approved by the food FDA. So they can be used with food. And also in there, you've got the polymer, uh, the, the non-polymer side of it as well. So they work very, very well and they scrub the pans for you inside the machine. So what we did by introducing bio-based granules was we took the word plastic out of our conversations every day. They are a little bit more premium with regards to price than the uh, standard granule. So if you look at the actual standard granule, they uh, in pounds, they come out around about for 10 litres, 123 pounds. The granule bio, will be 195 pounds a tub as they come out. And the tub is made from a recyclable product as well. Now, um, the important thing about that is to realize that the cost of the power granules bio over time will go down. But as they come out initially and we build stocks, then obviously we've got a, we've got a, high, we've got a high price there that eventually will come down because they're gonna run run alongside the standard granules. Um, the estimated yearly cost when switching from granules, power granules to power granules bio is an additional 245 euros or pounds because it's virtually polar, polar, polarity free, the, uh, the pound and the euro. And that is based on 20 cycles a day. So it's not a lot of money when you look at uh, the same as made already by granule disc. So that's the a very brief introduction of the Power Granules Bio. And uh, as I said before, they are based on calcium salt, which is a window I was trying to find before. And there are a rapeseed oil, and there are biogradable esters, and the esters are the binding aspects of the granule. 
I'm going to pull a little question and answer sheet out after the presentation, which uh, Ben has very kindly said he will share with the uh, with the guys. So if you've got any particular questions that are not answered on that sheet, then please come back to me and I'll answer any questions for you. Now I want to I want to flick across to our products page. Um, a lot of you know about our products anyway, but we have uh, a Maxi, a Flexi, a Smart, and a Gastro, and we also have the Combi. Now the Combi is a pass-through machine that will do crockery cutting and glassware as well. Now for the eagle-eyed of you that are sitting watching this, you will see that now we have a Granule Smart Plus that was launched literally yesterday. So um, we now have a uh, standalone machine that will wash the crockery and cut and glassware as well. It offers a complete solution. So the 500 basket will sit inside the machine and that will wash any crockery, cut and glassware in one and a half minutes. Now we're not saying that we are now a, a crockery washer. What we're saying is that the items that sit in the pot wash area, like your RoboCoop bowls, your plastic bowls, your whisks, your ladles, before this machine came in, then those things were being washed by hand in the sinks. And if you remember when I started this uh, presentation, I asked you to take away the sinks. So there's a little bit of contradiction from my point of view there. So if the kitchen does only wash pots and pans in the pot wash area, then you can stay with a standard granule smart machine. But if you look at the uh, other things that may come into the kit kitchen area, like I mean, even the chef's mugs, uh, cups and saucers. I mean, the chefs um, sometimes said to me, where do I wash these now? I've got this granule disc machine. So you can even wash those inside this machine. So um, the what it offers you is a complete solution for a, a kitchen pot wash area. So you're now washing the plastic bowls, the RoboCoop, the uh, small stainless steel bowls by using the water wash on this. Now, there's no particular video to watch at this moment because it was literally launched yesterday, but there is a, um, there is, let's go back to that presentation again, I apologize. Go to there. Uh, there is a PDF file which I can send, which is the uh, uh, specification sheet. So um, that can be that can be offered to you, and again uh, emailed out after this presentation. It's very new to me as it was only launched yesterday, so I apologise. I'm not particularly presenting it very well this morning. But what it gives you is a complete pot wash solution for the area because as we know people do not buy products they buy a solution and granule disc gives you that solution so i think what i'll do is i'll end the presentation there and i will ask anybody if they've got any questions in the room um, and then uh, the rest of this will go out on an email by NC afterwards so everybody will need to unmute themselves in order to ask yeah. questions yeah so I don't know, Derek, have you got any questions or Chris? I think. So, no. yeah, um, One thing you did we'll say talk. is you can wash glassware in it, but it's not designed to wash glassware. Um, it's toughened glass, but the idea of the, of the granule smarts plus is that it picks up the items that would have been washed by hand in the sink in a standard pot wash area. That's what I meant by that. Thank okay. you for the question. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, I was going to ask a question. I think probably on the smart, um, it, it might be relevant because you, you just mentioned there about glassware, but you mentioned it, you would wash things like RoboCoop lids, RoboCoop bowls, RoboCoop lids, which are, you know, traditionally kind of clear plastic. Do, do they not get scratched by the, the granules? And, uh, right. That's that a very good question. Thank you for asking. The, 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 um, Combi, the Granule Combi and the Granule Smart Plus have a system where we recognize which button's been pressed. So the granules will not enter the machine. There is a magnet on the basket, on the round basket that will take standard tray, uh, GN containers and pots and pans. On the 
500 by 500 plastic basket, your plate basket that would go into a standard machine, a hood type machine, which is what you're then going to put in to wash those RoboCoop bowls, etc. <laughs> there is no magnet, so it will not allow the granules in the machine. So there is, when you wash with the plus element of the smart or the water element of the combi, so uh, when you're washing the crockery cup in glassware, you're using a standard, standard 500 by 500 basket. You're not using the large round uh, a, a pot basket that you would use when you're washing GM containers or pots and pans. So it doesn't see that magnet. So it does not allow granules into the machine. So, so the magnet is in the round one and a traditional one, which everybody's got the 500 baskets. You don't need to buy a particularly special one. It, no. it will just not activate it. No. In fact, when you look on the specification sheet of the, of the Granule Smart Plus, on the standard machine, there is no 500 basket because everyone's got one. Mm. So we don't want to, they are, they, are, they are there as an accessory, but they're not there as a standard. So you just put in a standard 500 by 500 basket and then you push it in and then away you go. In a couple of weeks' time, there will be a video for Smart Plus, but it's very, very new to us, and we're very, very excited about it because what it does, it offers that complete solution from that side. So, yeah. Could I just ask one other question about the, um, the granules themselves? So I'm afraid I don't yeah. know the, the units, uh, no. perhaps as well as some other guys. You said they, uh, the granules need changing every what, 1,200 washes, was it? 2,500 cycles. 2,500 cycles. Is that a full 10 litres then, or, or does it, no, how yeah. much? Okay, sorry, Chris. Um, it's, there's, there's two reasons why, by the way, why people don't buy granule discs. One is they don't know about it. The second one is they don't know about it. So let's t t teach people about it, yeah? yeah. Um, so I really appreciate the questions. And um, basically the power granule, which is this little thing here, uh, they are the polymer based. I don't have a, a, a bio based one to show you. Um, they, they are your scrubbing agent inside the machine. So they're gonna wash for 2,500 cycles, yeah? That means 20,000 one by one GM containers are gonna be washed by those granules. Imagine they are the green scourer inside the sink. So what you're doing is you're taking that and then replacing it with the granule inside the machine. Mm -hmm. So you're not having to pre-wash, pre-soak or pre-wash, pre, um, pre, pre-soak pre or pre, uh, pre-work with any pan. So you're just scraping and washing. Um, the, by, the, the machine will then ask you at 2,500 to change the granule. So you collect them and then you throw them away in your recyclable waste. So there's a yeah. hopper. There's uh, eight liters or six liters, yeah. There's a box that goes into the machine every day and there's eight liters or six liters of granule or 16 liters of granule, depending on what machine you're using. So to answer your question, that it depends on what machine you're using. So a granule smart will take eight liters of granules and you get a 10 litre tub. So you top up between, with old and new, from zero to 2,500. Or the flexi will take six, or the maxi will take 16 litres of granules. And they can be either the power granules bio, which every machine now will come out of Sweden with it, with those granules in there, or they can be the standard granules. What you don't want to do, you can do it, but what you don't want to do is mix the, the biogradable degranules with the standard ones, because then when it comes to, um, it will confuse the recycling process when it comes yeah. to knocking. So, so basically, what to answer your question, the, the whole of that six litres will be thrown away or eight litres will be thrown away at 2,500 cycles, and then you replace them with new again. So okay. it's like so it, it, yeah, it doesn't go down the drain. It's just absolutely not. And yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah they are. Gotcha. There are gotcha. sieves in place that will will stop that from happening. There are there are barriers in place within the machine, so that no granule will leave the machine through the wash process. They stay inside the machine. Okay. okay. You also said actually, um, you if you would say a lasagna tray and and you pre-soaked it, it would soften and be less effective. Does mm. that mean um, it's better for for say a lasagna tray to come out once it's finished it might still be soft to dry up a little bit more before 
before you washed it to get better results? Yeah. Or? What I'm going to do, Chris, I'm going that to give you a granule disc T-shirt because you're doing a great job of selling my product <laughs> for me. So what, <laughs> what, that, what, I'm, what, what that does, and what I was saying by that was that if you imagine uh, a little lasagna tray comes from the kitchen today without a granule disc, then you have uh, sinks there ready and the people just tend to just throw the, the pan into the water bath for half an hour, for three hours, to, for a day and a half, you know, whatever, whatever the pans, um, how badly the pan is soiled. I've been in the kitchen when I was a chef where the kitchen porter left the pan overnight and then come in next day to wash it because it was so bad. So if you imagine that that pan had been soaked in the sink without any scraping, without any scrubbing, and then put into a granule disc machine, then that scum line is going to be moist and soft. Mm. The granule then cannot get behind that inside the machine. It's going to stick to that that um, rim of crud, if you want, around yeah. the rim. So then the pan will come out and it won't be clean. And you say, well, this machine's a load of rubbish. It's not that. It's the fact that you've pre-soaked it inside the water bath before and then put it into the machine. So to answer your question, yes, we would like you to scrape the pan get rid of them as much food debris as you can and then you've got a dry area to then bring off rather than a soft malleable one yeah so any soft bits of tomato sauce or something let them dry a little bit before yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or a roux base on the bottom of a pan, just scrape it off and let it dry yeah. a little bit. And then load it, load them at the same time as you're going to load other pans that are similar. So then you're going to better flow a product and you're getting more pans through. So the ones that only need a little bit of washing can go on an echo cycle. And then a bit of, a lot of washing will go on a, on a, a, a normal cycle at the end. So it's either two minutes, three minutes or five minutes. And to answer your next question, the Granule Smart Plus, the water base is only a minute and a half. So we can wash the cups and, cups and sauces in a minute and a half. Thanks. Perfect. Good questions. Thank you very much. <laughs> can I just ask one, Keith? Yeah, Derek. Um, do, how do they work with like ceramic like gastro pans and all that? Because not everybody uses the stainless steel, do they? No. So is it just as effective? Cherry so on a ceramic, and you get these new high heat acrylic ones where they bring them out of the oven mm -hmm. and they put them straight on the serving units as well. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to change pans. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. So the wash, do they is it the same? Is it the same effective on these as well? Okay, so Macclesfield School, where I was the other day, uh, before it went into lockdown, um, I when I did the training, they have a lot of these um, vitrified. Um, GN containers so the large I think that's what you're talking about when they cook a lasagna in yeah. and then serve from there absolutely yeah. fine no problem at all that will be hit by a granule the granule is soft enough to to not damage any pans but hard enough to do its work yeah. so um, when we're looking at the large GN uh, crockery trays the vitrified ones the ones that are toughened which is what I think you're describing yeah absolutely fine with granules and then they're used every day in the kitchens in the in the school kitchens and people like Holroyd Howe uh, already use our machine and they use like that um, uh, the long thin they look like a salmon uh, present, presentation type tray as well so it's a long thin one that goes in our machine no problem at all okay lovely okay I, ideally though you just use a water wash you don't have to use the granules all the time you can use just a water wash. Okay. Okay. I mean, there's more questions than answers, as they say. <laughs> that was a song, wasn't it? <laughs> no. But um, I think I, I think we're we're about there, aren't we, Bob? I'm not too sure yeah, whether so. um, because we're up to 25 for, minutes. Yep. Thanks everybody for uh, joining in this morning, and have a nice day and a nice weekend.